number 22, Chit Me Butler. Well, the venue's different, but the stakes are as high as ever. Welcome to 2K Sports. With the series all knotted in one apiece, the quest to reach the Eastern Conference Finals is heating up. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Two conference rivals squaring off tonight, Grant. I'm sure both teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchup. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. For three, Lowry. No good that time. New York goes the other way with it. Barrett passes to Randall. Back to Barrett. Down low. And it's Randall with the jam. And that's a good heads up play there from RJ. And it's the Heat with the ball. Here's Lowry. Pass to Hero. Adebayo, a screen on Hart. Here's Hero. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. And the defense knows that Hero can get that jumper working from just about anywhere. Robinson with it. Barrett up top. Butler covering. Fader on the way. No good off the back of the rim. Coaches loathe empty possessions. you got to be able to hit the easy ones. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. And here's New York now. Hart passes to Robinson. Defense! 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 Randall against Martin. Defense! 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 Now here's Randall. He's covered closely. Outside Barrett. From deep, four on the clock. And it's Miami with a rebound. And specifically with R.J. Barrett, it feels like he's a lot older. You know, B.A., but he's not close to 25 yet. So what we see right now is not what he'll be once R.J. hits his front. Still a lot of room to grow for him. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. Barrett passes to Hart. Randall with it. He's guarded by Martin. Fades back. Randall can't hit. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Adebayo, a screen on Barrett. And there are the Heat with another bucket. The mid-range game right now is doing a lot of damage to this defense, courtesy of Jimmy Butler. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. I love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Lowry, the pass to Butler. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. It's hauled in by Robinson. The Knicks have gone two for five here in the first. Outside Barrett. Back to Brunson. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. The Heat with the lead. Pass to Hero. Back to Butler. Over Brunson. And he can't bank that one in. And here are the Knicks now. Now Barrett. He's guarded by Hero. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, Brent Canada is well represented in the NBA these days. R.J. Barrett may be leading the charge. Man, if you put together a team of nothing but Canadian players, you'd have a pretty strong five out there. And Barrett's a guy 
who might be the leader of that squad. He misses the free throw. A big group substitution here for Miami. Love is checked in for Martin. Robinson comes in for Jimmy Butler. Oladipo is checked in for Hero. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Julius Randle. Grimes, he's checked in for Hart. And quickly subbed in for Brunson. R.J. Barrett continuing to find consistency by not settling the things that come his way. He's got to stay within the confines of what they want to do offensively. So his game is growing. And that one's good. Mm -hmm. Quickly. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Pass to Adebayo. Robinson against Barrett. Adebayo with it. Hartenstein pulls it in. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Top of the screen on Robinson. Here's Barrett. That one's good. This game is all even. Well, Barrett with a nice touch down there as the lefty was able to negotiate the little room that he had. Oladipo outside. Adebayo sets a screen. It's Oladipo with a drive. Love. Here's Vincent, guarded by Quickly. Fires the three. Vincent can't hit. The Knicks have gone four of eight and looking in control. And he lobs it up to the rim. Ali Oop up top, hammer it home. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. 46 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. The Knicks making a switch here. Rose is checked in. Derek Rose. The Knicks with the lead. Oh, what a performance offensively. <laughs> They're really rolling at that end. Excellent game plan. Let's it go for 14. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Miami has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Oladipo against quickly. The shot by Oladipo, no good. Here's Rose. Pass to quickly. And the Knicks miss again. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. It's the Knicks, up by two. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Knicks. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement that's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. And Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down when it comes to reloading. This team knows how to do it well. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Outside Butler. Pass to Lowry. Now here's Martin. Outside low. The three is up. It's rebounded by New York. Now here's Randall. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. And a big finish by Robinson. He's just too big and too athletic to be given that kind of position. Mitchell Robinson, an easy deuce. 
Right side, Butler. Fades and shoots. And that one good. Butler's got six. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Up top, Robinson. Covered by Love. Hart passes to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. That shot off the mark. Now the Heat take it the other way. Pass to Lowry. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Lowry's got his first basket. Lowry showcasing his ability to do damage on the inside. Here's Grimes. Butler covering. Handle the screen on Struess. Here's Hart on the take. Lays it up and banks it in. Hart's gotten four this quarter. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Here's Butler. Left side low. Over Robinson. Oh, Robinson with a block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. Robinson, a screen on Lowry. Brunson finds Randall. Count in. He's got six. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Butler. He's got six. Fires from the line. It's hauled in by Robinson. For New York, they've gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Outside Hart. Randall on the screen. And Hart with a basket on the assist by Brunson. And now it's an eight-point Nick lead. Well, you know it takes courage to draw charges. Guys get trucked all the time, and they still call a blocking foul. You think more of those should be no calls, Grant? You know, B.A., courage is the right word. If you're willing to step in there and sacrifice your body for the sake of the team, you know what? If you don't give them a charge, I prefer the no call. I like that idea. Well, that's some veteran savvy from Lowry. Just floor awareness and finds the open teammate. Now a timeout called by New York. All right, crowd, it's time to get out of your seats. That's right, it's Easter time. Get ready to get high feet fans. It's your heat breaker dance crew. A big group substitution here for Miami. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Love. Robinson comes in for Butler. Hero, he's checked in for Struess. And Vincent is subbed in for Lowry. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Now here's Rose, tightly guarded to the paint. Here's Hardenstein. The shot is good, and the assist by Rose. The assist. And the Knicks lead by seven. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Vincent. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And the defense just all over Bam, but he hangs tough. Since hiring Tom Thibodeau, every year the Knicks have been at the bottom of the league in pace. Well, Thibs rhymes with grind, doesn't it, B.A.? I mean, it doesn't really, but it should. First one falls for him. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. That one misses. For New York, they've gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Quickly passes to Barrett. Off 
target from outside. Miami has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Pass to Hero. Let's it go from deep. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. That's a go-to shot for Tyler Hero. So confident in his ability to connect from deep. Rose, the pass to Barrett. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Miami trailing. Hero with it. He's got five. Adebayo is screened on quickly. Inside. And Adebayo slams it in. Intelligent play there by Hero. Upsets the defense and then hands it off for the assist. Pass to Hartenstein. Now Barrett. Unloads from 13. Barrett missing again. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. That's what Hero is. He's a shot maker, a guy who figures out ways to put the ball into the bucket. Now here's Rose. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Second chance effort. And another shot. Some solid defense from Martin. And it's Miami's ball. Big run right now for him. 11-2. Here's Vincent, guarded by Rose. Martin with a screen on Rose. Outside Robinson. Takes the three. And again, Miami with a triple. Love the timing as Robinson comes off footwork there to get the catch and get the shot up. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Heat out in front. Howdy folks, game three here at the half and it is a substantial deficit for the New York Knicks. They haven't been terrible defensively, but they haven't been great. They're just giving up way too many looks. Yeah, the, uh, the ball movement has them scrambling a little. Yeah, I'll take some cheese with those scramble eggs, Ernie. Taking a look at how the series is going for the Heat. They were able to take a game on the road, capturing home court advantage. Shaq, how important is game three for them? Well, game three is always huge. They took care of business on the road. Now they have to hit you guys with a big word. Now they have to capitalize on it. Ooh. Well, it won't be easy, but I'm going to make a prediction, guys. You ready? No, but Whoever go ahead. Whoever wins this game three, they win the series. That is bold, Kenny. I sort of like it. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. It's hard on the wing. He's guarded by Hero. Outside for Randall. Just four to shoot. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer tips. Hart can't hit. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Pass to Adebayo. To the inside. And it's Butler with the jam. Just more and more comfortable the guys are when Bam has the ball, and they cut. They know they're going to get it. Randall is screen on Lowry. Here's Brunson, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, well, have you settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Out of bio. That's good. Bam knowing what to do. He's owning the paint right now. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. 
Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Outside Hart. Back to Brunson. Pass to Randall from downtown. It's hauled in by the Heat. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. So much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. Now Hero. He's got seven. Here's Martin. No good with the triple. New York trailing. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, D.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always won on the floor. Butler's shot is good. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Randall, a screen on Butler. Barrett with it. Martin picks him up. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Big back in that 21 season. Finally, the Knicks breaking back into the playoffs. You know, it had been seven years since they got there. And Coach Thibodeau receiving the Coach of the Year honor. Well deserved. It was such an impressive season, and yet New York couldn't quite replicate their success the following year, Brent. Yeah, B.A., they made some moves, and they were hoping to bolster the roster in some ways, but it just didn't go as expected, and now they're retooling again. A different look for Miami. Kevin Love's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Struess comes in for Martin. And Victor Oladipo is subbed in for Hero. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Grimes is checked in, and Barrett drops them both. For Miami, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. To the middle. And it's Butler with the jam. Yeah, it feels like out of the gates, Jimmy Butler's played aggressively. It's been this way all night. Brunson against Lowry. It's Barrett on the wing. It's stolen by Love. Randall against Lowry. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Struess with the bucket. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Puts it up from 12. The shot that time not on target. And Miami will go the other way with it. Here's Butler. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Basket is good with the setup from Oladipo. Butler's got ten points in just the second half. Yeah, they've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now a timeout called by New York. The Heat making a switch here. Vincent's checked in. A big group substitution here for New York. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. Quickly is checked in for Barrett. And Rose is subbed in for Brunson. One fifty-seven left in the third. Here's quickly. Toppin outside. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Here's Vincent. Pass to Oladipo. Now here's Struess. Fires from deep. And the three-pointer goes. Struess has got nine. 
everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing, but they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Rose hits the jump hook. Smart play from Rose, getting up close to the basket for a high percentage look. Love the screen on Toppin. And it's Butler who slams it down. That's a little something special from Jimmy Butler. There's serious elevation. The Knicks have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Pass to Hartenstein. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Now here's Rose. Guarded closely. Just three to shoot. Quickly from outside. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. Miami has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Ball stolen. Here's Rose. And he lays it in on the break. Rose has gotten four this quarter. And it's topping the hands, the steal. That ignited that break. And here's Butler. He's got 18. Pass to Vincent. Over Rose. And so it's Miami in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Pass to Adebayo. Drops in the layup for two. Just doesn't feel like Bam Adebayo is 6'9". He covers so much ground. Outside Brunson. Randall, a screen on Lowry. Puts it up from 12. And it's Randall with the jam. <laughs> B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Adebayo, a screen on Hart. Pass to Adebayo. Martin outside. Now here's Hero, guarded by Barrett. Shot clock at six. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. Robinson can't hit. Well, the Knicks shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Randall, pass to Brunson. Now Randall. Robinson, a screen on Adebayo. They double Randall. Barrett against Hero. Barrett can't hit. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Adebayo, a screen on Barrett. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. Bam's size, along with his athleticism, that could be a big problem on the interior. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Miami? I mean, they play some beautiful basketball all game. The Shoot passing two. has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. Now, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks getting out there on the fast break. No good on that one. On the second one. 
And the Knicks with the possession here. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Randall on the screen. Takes a step back. Here's the three. The rebound by Lowry. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. It's Martin on the wing. Hard against Hero. Adebayo, a screen on Hart. Hero, no good. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Pass to Robinson. Randall against Lowry. Randall, good. So creative on offense. Randall getting more and more comfortable handling the ball and understanding where he can get to on specific possessions. Hard against Hero. And he gets it to go. And the Heat lead by 17. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Shots good by Hart. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. The Heat have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And Josh Hart listed at 6'5". But he plays much bigger than that. He does. I mean, just so strong on defense in the post, B.A. Often will guard up a position, and his rebounding numbers show he plays well above his listed height. the heat with some changes. Kevin Love comes in for Martin and Jimmy Butler is subbed in for Robinson. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Over that last break I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. He said to his players you may want to get comfortable with this lead but we can't afford that. That's when we get into trouble. Just keep executing the game plan and trust in one another. All right Ali thanks once again. Three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Puts up the eight-footer, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Knicks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Hart passes to Barrett. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to shake him off that kind of focus. Up top, Hero. He's covered by Hart. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Back to Hero. Five on the clock. Shoots over Hart. Miami, no good that time either. New York, they're working against the clock now. Randall, the pass to Brunson. Back to Randall. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Julius Randall, a nightly double-double threat. Guy who can occasionally drain the three, but when he first entered the league, many considered him just to be a role player. That role has changed. No good on the free throw. Well, since accepting a bigger role, Randall has really blossomed. Well, it's great to see him evolve over time and actually be just taking on more responsibility. And with the way his game has blossomed, you can see why. He's a big part of this team. And he sinks the second. And trying to cut into this deficit, tough to leave any points on the table. Miami has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Pass to Butler. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. 
Lowry's got six assists in the game. Well, Jimmy Butler can score on all three levels, inside, outside, and from distance. Here's Randall. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Interesting choice going for the fadeaway. An unnecessary flourish in that case. He's shooting just 38% here in the fourth. And that'll wrap up game three. Now we'll look ahead towards an important game four for the Heat. And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And in what could be a series-defining victory, they go up two games to one. And both teams knew tonight would be important. The winner captures momentum going into game four. It's been an interesting matchup. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Jimmy Butler. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. Now here's Hart. Outside Brunson. Robinson a screen on Hero. And there it is for him. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Hero with it. So no problem for Miami as they get the win. And this is a critical win for them. They grab the lead in the series after splitting the first two games. Yeah, game three feels like a game seven if the series is tied. It has a huge impact. They're in the driver's seat now as long as they don't lose their focus. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference semifinals. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler.